Okay, uh, we're we're at the old at the old league. Um, this is against VR Smith, and yeah, it's the second match of the season, so I can't really say say a whole lot. Um, this board has Pious Monument. That seems like something we'll probably want to open. Uh, longer term, I guess there's like big ol' throne engine, maybe with paddock, maybe with some witch's hut. Uh, I think pretty clearly you want to work in quite a bit of throne monument into that just to like score, uh, especially since you'll have the monuments in the deck anyways, because uh, otherwise it's single gain. Um, I guess that also means cardinal might be sort of relevant, though as you like start getting a bunch of horses into your deck, it probably doesn't matter that much. And I'd guess that happens before the Cardinals really, really come out. Um, I guess Curses from Witch's Hut might be a little bit irritating to deal with. Delay should be pretty irrelevant because there's no buy. Uh, and I guess we're going to open probably Monument. I don't know if it should be Underling or Sea Chart. Um, I guess it could also be Night Watchman, but, uh, I think it probably should be one of these, one of these cantrippy things. Um, I don't think Bankers is actually like that useful long term. Like your deck should be perfectly consistent. And so like the extra added coins, just because you're going to be like throwing monument, potentially throwing paddock, uh, don't actually do you a whole lot. So I think I'm going to take C chart. Uh, the other option would be taking Night Watchman, but like right now we're living with what nine coins in deck. We don't really need to be hitting five, um, so you know, I'm going to do that. I mean, we, we will hit five anyways, because it's going to be a paddock. Uh, or maybe it should be a throne room. Like next turn, because of the C chart, I'm about to shuffle. Uh, so we're going to kind of collide, collide some stuff, uh, which I guess could be throne room. That'll be the hope anyways. Um, plausibly this should be another monument just to clear out the estate. Uh, and then I don't know, maybe this is another throne room, maybe it's a paddock. I could clear out the last estate also, but I think I want to be getting like draw in and maybe even more village. Uh, so I kind of see going either way on this decision. Um, right now I'm kind of over terminal. I think I think we'll just throw in another throne room. Like it, you know. I feel like I do need to be producing draw, but oh man. I don't know. Let's throw in another throne room. What's the worst thing that can happen, right? This will be a paddock here for me. Start in on those. We'll throw in the C chart. It won't hit, of course. Um, now what? Uh, I could do another monument. I'm a little bit light on um, village, of course, but I think I think this is still productive for now, and we can we can hope to pick up paddock of this shuffle. Uh, the sea chart's going to miss again. I also have a little bit of a potential problem coming down the line where I have like two throne rooms in here, and I think only like one action card. Uh, okay, well that solves that problem. Um, yeah, let's have this be a witch's hut. Uh, I think like future buys just want to be throne room after throne room. Um, 
you get going like maybe a turn earlier than I do, uh, but I think things are mostly fine. And her next, like, however many buys, every turn is just going to be a throne room buy from, like, here to whenever. Um, for me, and possibly for you as well. This could be ugly. Um, like, if you start getting the turns going here, this could be bad for me. Uh, which it looks like you're maybe doing. Okay, not not as much as I was concerned about. This should just be thrown room. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure every buy should be thrown room until, like, whenever. But we'll see. Uh, I guess we want to do like paddock then, which is hot. Um, How many actions we're gonna have? I guess there's another throne room in there. Uh, like I could go to the end of the shuffle, but I don't really want. Well, I don't. I don't really want to burn both horses, right? And we can throw in a horse and play three monuments, probably. Uh, I guess there's a monument in there. What did I discard? Monument C chart two horses. I think I'm okay with top decking that. Maybe? Probably? I don't know how functional this turn will be. But... Oh well. I guess we could see some problems from, like, the second Witch's Hut. Um, potentially I'll take a lot more curses than would be desirable. Uh, especially if this turn fails, um, that could be pretty bad. I would have, I would have kind of preferred to have drawn the monument last turn, although I'm not sure it was exactly likely. Right here, when I discarded the monument C chart, that probably should have been two horses at that time. Uh, just maybe not the most aware of what my deck was then. Jeez, um, I took four curses. Interesting. <laughs> I also wonder kind of like how much draw I actually have. Because like last turn had the four four horse paddock and then it I also got so I threw in more paddock. Um okay, paddock is now non terminal, we'll note that. Uh, at this point I think I just need to throw in the C chart though and like hope for the best, which I guess happened. Um isn't actually so bad. Uh, the, I mean, I guess the, the, the bad part is that, like, I'm probably going to take those three curses and, like, your deck's just going to be better at that point, but, oh well. Um, may also be time to buy province. I don't know how consistent I'm going to be, like, through everything. Uh, another Witch's Hut may be extremely desirable before before we start greening. Um, my assumption is I'm taking the rest of these curses this turn, uh, and then we'll just see how... Oh, okay, I didn't. Um, bad assumption. <laughs> I don't have another monument to clear curses. It's probably a, a good idea. Um, 
um, not like that feeling a need to um, give curses out yet. I guess I should probably try to give these last three this turn. Um, like that. Uh, we can top deck a bunch of horses. Uh, I think the best thing for me to do is going to be to buy another monument. Like right now, I'm kind of in the driver's seat on points. And so, just like convinced that I should be fully consistent, I hope. Um, I think this is, I think this is productive. Although we may need to be thinking about province this next turn in a major way. Just to have a state around. Plausibly, you'll have actually a little bit of trouble drawing. Um, right. Because, like, I think you burned all but one horse. Uh, and you're about to shuffle, right? So, I think that's good news for me. Um, I think this monument that I bought last turn over a paddock may have been a little bit ambitious. Uh, that seems like a possibility um, that a paddock would have done me a bit more good just in terms of staying consistent. Like, it feels good to have the four horses on top, but this totally isn't a guarantee of a turn, given that there's, like, 23 cards right here, which, you know, a, a kind of limited number actually saved me. Well, that is one that saves me. Um, I think we should throw in a horse now uh, with the hope to get thrown on Witch's Hut and maybe do some Throne Thrown down the line. Yikes. Okay. Uh, this is definitely not where we wanted to be. Um, cause like if I, if I play the, if I, if I want to top deck horses, um, it, it may just fail. Uh, so, plausibly what I want to do is play the paddock and then throw in the witch's hut. Um, I don't know if I need to buy, well, I don't need to buy province. I could buy like paddock or, or another witch's hut. Um, those are, those are options. I mean, we could also just throw in the paddock play monuments and like see what comes up in the shuffle. Um, this is this is four curses, right? So yeah, like if I throw in the paddock and then play the witch's hut, I could seriously draw all four horses, which would really suck. Um so we're gonna do this. Maybe we just play the four monuments and like leave it up to leave it up to whatever as to what happens uh, maybe buy a paddock kind of like that plan acknowledging that you know this could be 
really bad, like, you know, this turn. But my assumption is that you're going to have some fails also. And the hope is the extra paddock kind of will carry me through some sort of extended greening. Um, that I might otherwise not be getting. I guess the other thing is like just assuming that you weren't going to draw, I could have probably taken a monument, but I didn't really want to risk it. We can do that potentially later. Um, Given that I think next turn's going to work just because this one's failing, I'm probably going to buy a duchy here. Um, and just kind of... I guess I could buy a farm. I think that's just worse because I'm like easily producing coins, right? If a turn, if a turn actually goes. Um, yikes. Yeah, I still don't want to find out, because, like, you have four thrones and four monuments, so, like, you know, I can buy a monument here, but, like, that represents some largish number of points. Even if I don't think you have a high probability of drawing, like, at some point you will see throne rooms. Um, and that looks like bad news for me. So this turn should end up working. Um, of course, I'm a little bit low confidence in playing this particular throne room right now. Um, but I guess I do this and then Throne Witches had. I kind of want to conserve on the paddocks, uh, just because I would kind of like to see them go through, but maybe getting the horses in there is just better. Um, just to get through, like, a lot more stuff. And there's a throne room in here somewhere that I'd kind of like to see. Yeah. Probably play the four monuments. Like throne paddock. Get a few extra horses in. Play these four monuments by province. He has a decent shot at drawing in the future. Which, what can we do? Drawing is good. I mean, I'm kind of hoping my deck's better, right? Like, just for doing everything. I don't know if the threat's really there or not. Okay, well... This should give me the ability to buy this monument, especially if it ends up trashing a curse. Um, probably I try to draw more. Trying to figure out if like triggering that shuffle is actually a good idea, but um, Okay, this is a lead of 12 points. I'm pretty confident that you can't actually draw that much, uh, especially given that four of those horses are mine. Let's go. And I'm going to miss a number. That is amazing. <sighs> I swear I will hit four before you're able to produce 13 points. <laughs> If I don't, this would be like the saddest loss ever. 
seriously, okay, there we go. Maybe could have gone earlier on that one, but eventually we, we did get there. Um, I don't know. I mean, I felt like I had some amount of first player. I also think, like, going after... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm trying to, like, make up stuff that, like, I could attribute that to, and I just I can't do it. Um, here we're going to open old map on top and probably voyage right like that's that's easily the best thing to do i think for me yeah yeah that seems that seems right uh voyage is great because you can move your fairy onto something and like three coppers will, will buy you something that you really like probably hunter early groundskeeper late um, it's a little bit of an awkward interaction with Royal Galley, but I don't think Royal Galley is actually that important because, like, everything here is not, everything here that you would want is non-terminal. Um, so, that seems desirable. Banqueting for Sanctuary. Hmm. Well, hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. It's a little bit awkward because, like, you don't necessarily get the, uh, voyage, but whatever. I guess the other, the other thing is, like, you can so easily get voyage. Uh, I, like, I can't cut you off, but I, if I get control over the pile, I'm pretty happy, I think. Like, I can't cut you off of voyage, but I can, I can make life annoying. It is not an amazing shuffle. It has to happen, but oh well. Um, like this could be voyage right here. Uh, plausibly next turn I hit what? I hit two. That's not good. Uh, that wasn't really the intention, but you know, these things happen. I mean, you know, you get voyage next turn. Yeah, I think I think this opening was just a screw up. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. It should have been the it should have been the banquet for sanctuary also. Well, I was also supposed to actually hit three here. Not. I wonder if I should have discarded a copper. No, because you're like fairly likely to draw an estate. I think this is just kind of unfortunate. Um, like hitting three here would have been ideal because then you could ferry something this turn um, and have the have the voyage stuff work. Um, well, I'm gonna get voyage turns off sooner, so that's that's good news. Um, bad news is, you know, everything else, but mm, I don't feel I don't feel out of it. If I if I end up drawing an estate off this old map, I'm probably gonna feel pretty out of it at that point. Uh, like if I don't hit three right here, that would be really bad. Okay. I did. Um, I guess I'm not gonna rotate. Uh, just cause I don't have the fairy on it. Like at this point, just the, the name of the game is gonna be See My Voyage, however often. Um, well, this stinks. Uh, I guess we'll just go through, though. Uh, probably don't rotate. I didn't get anything really done on this turn, but, well, I cycled through a lot of stuff. Okay, now I think I'm going to move Fairy over to Hunter. Although maybe just go straight to Groundskeeper. I'm not sure, actually. 
I think we'd probably want like one or two hunters just to um get the uh that's it um just to get the uh um gosh get the voyage getting played consistently that's that's what i'm trying to do with the that's what i'm trying to do with the hunters so we'll move it this turn and i mean we'll we'll hope that well, next turn's, like, not guaranteed to be, like, all that amazing, just because, like, I have these two sanctuaries, I have the voyage. Maybe I want to discard a voyage to old map? I don't know if that's too radical. Um, oh, I guess a galley voyage is, like, totally thingish. Um, like, you can galley a bunch of cards on your regular turn and then play them during your voyage turn. That seems really good, now that I, now that I mention it. Um, so that's Sanctuary. Ugh. Like, I really don't want to go over this shuffle. So maybe I just play Voyage, stop, and buy Hunter. That was, that was good. And like, the hope now is that I'll be able to play Voyage a lot more consistently. Although I guess you're at that point also now, so... Mm. I also don't know at like, what point does a Silver become productive? Mm. Or idle, sure. Contract. Mystic. You wonder if like Mystic's better than some of this. Whoa. Oh, you just want three. Okay. Uh, I guess we have to take the old map just because we really do want to find that, uh, voyage. Um, hmm. I could rotate here with the intent of taking sunken treasure. I'm not sure what the sunken treasure actually does for me, though. Like, we're trying to make the voyage turns work for other reasons. Um... So maybe this is a hunter. And then I did draw three coppers, so this will be another hunter, or it can be fairy. Uh, I don't know what the fairy would go on. Maybe galley, maybe groundskeeper. I am going to need to produce coins at some point. figure out a different way to produce coins at some point. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm like, so clearly, I just, I just, like, I have two fewer galleys and I have one fewer idol, so that's not exactly a, a great position, is it? <laughs> Second idol comes in. I assume I'm getting cursed here. Yeah, two idols. Oh, really? That is a that is an extremely good boon. Yeah, I think I think the opening was just so wrong. Um, 
trying to think, like, if there's anything that can happen that, like, would get me back into this. I don't know if there's, I don't know, like, what form of, what form of potential, um, mess up there could be. Uh, I might just actually want to go ahead and buy idle here. Um, with the idea that the voyage turn is able to is able to get galley um, no matter Ooh. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of missed the galley voyage thing, but I think, I think I was just toast after the open. Um, it was just like an entirely wrong, wrong decision on what to, what to do there. Uh, I mean, I would have sure liked to have seen three coppers turn three. So I'm not sure, like with discarding the estate or feeling like I have to discard the estate turn uh what was it two well no i didn't have to discard the estate turn two like i already had three coins now because i wanted to hit voyage so badly hmm i don't know yeah i guess you probably want to discard a copper is it like 50 50 that that just might not be like ever good enough to to really do that I guess would be the argument um, yeah all right yeah I screwed this one up <sighs> Yeah, opening was opening was just way wrong. Um, I didn't like. I, I feel like I didn't theory it out enough to to figure out if it was actually a good idea. And the answer was it was just a terrible idea. Um, on that note, uh, we have stable sack of loot here, so that's exciting. Um, I think that's basically all there is here. Like, you'll want to do a big mint at some point. There's a bit of play, maybe, with, like, landing party counts room. I don't really think so, though. Um, I think our start's gonna be probably silver landing party. Uh, I guess we could also go, like, silver storeroom. The problem with storeroom is that, like, later on, um, it's a bit less appealing. There's also, like, tax storeroom, but I think that's just, like, not a thing at all because of the, uh, counterfeit sack of loot stuff going on. Um, so I'm going to start silver, probably silver landing party. Um, I'm not sure how much the landing party will actually do us, or do us, but um, I'm also not actually sure if it's like actually that much better to have than silver, an extra silver. It's not actually that Clear, right? Because like this, this makes you hit nine, or that is four, four, five potentially. I guess you're like okay with picking up a scheme. You pick up like silver, silver counterfeit. Yeah, okay, I think this checks it out. Especially if we see it turn here like we did. So this will be silver, and then next turn will be, uh, I guess, counterfeit. I guess this could also be another landing party, depending on how long we think we're going to go before we start buying stables. All right. Just get a little bit more cycle in. Or maybe we just go like landing party straight up, like no stables. Seems like a possibility. Not entirely sure. I'm going to say this feels like an advantage to start out, although I don't know how it's going to work with Sack of Loot. It feels like an advantage to have the 4-5. I 
uh, if if landing party is actually that much better than silver. Like, if, if this isn't an advantage, I should have bought silver last year. <laughs> right. Um, so now is this stables? Potentially. I guess it could also be like council room, but I think I think we're gonna go into the into the more normal looking deck from here. Um, well, plausibly, this hits six for sack of loot. This will be another sack. I don't actually know if I'm going to want to shuffle here. Like, I assume the steel is going to be in there, but if I hit 5 without it, which I think I do... Not, not so certain. I don't just want to, want to grab the stables while it's here. Oh man, look at those loots go. Okay, well, we missed the stables, so that's the that's the word. <laughs> Maybe I top deck the landing parties here. Like, what am I going to produce this turn that I like better than top decking two landing parties and buying a stables? I could get a sack of loot. I'm convinced. Um. Let's see, if I counterfeit copper, that brings me to 9. If I counterfeit silver, that brings me to 10. I think I'm going to counterfeit the silver. And just try to, try to dominate this split a bit harder. Um, maybe? <laughs> well, maybe I should just be taking two loops here. Like I'll have I'll have the options of taking one stables one stables or two loots. It's gotta be one stables and one loot. Yikes. Uh, this could be bad if you get both stables. I mean I'll get to top deck my landing parties, but um, yeah, this is not what I was kind of after this turn. Um, hmm. Well, I'm glad I took the two staples when I did. I think just getting the earlier loots was better. Uh, yeah, at some point I should have more loot, but... Now when that comes, I think this turn I probably want to pick up another counterfeit. The assumption is that I draw well next turn. Uh, oh, we have a staff. That's a really big deal because it means we can put Tactician into the deck, and that's amazing. Um, we'll probably do it with the Spell Scroll just as an aside. Uh, but, like... Yeah, that's that's really really good. Um, we're gonna pick up this tactician with a spell scroll. We didn't need to do one right then because this was like the most amazing loot outcome ever. Just just like unbelievably good. Like borderline, borderline game winning. Or it should be. If I don't, if I don't blow it somehow. <laughs> I guess we have to actually go find the. I don't know how guaranteed it is that we find. 
spell scroll. I mean, we have five stables in here. It should go okay. I hope. That would have been an argument for, like, taking, I don't know, a storeroom instead of the counterfeit right then. Um... Just to just to really make sure that I actually find the stuff this turn that I want. I guess the other thing I could have done is I could have taken like Harbinger. Harbinger plus Scheme maybe. That would have been okay. Two provinces. I mean, my hope is that you become inconsistent. I don't know if that's actually going to happen, but... Okay, we found the spell scroll, so all is all is good. Um, jewel spell scroll. Uh, I can I can do without the tactician for a turn. That's fantastic. Um, so let's play spell scroll. Attack. Uh, maybe I just take two provinces? I don't, like, if you take two provinces, I, I meant, the problem is, is like, if you take, well, no, you're not going to be able to take two provinces the next turn, because I'm easily outscoring that. That was an amazing, that, that was just like, Unbelievable loophole, the spell scroll. I don't even think you're in a position to take one province, maybe. And just completely obscene loot. To be honest. I don't really know, like, what the, what the deal was before that loot, like, whether we were even or you were a little bit ahead, but now it's just kinda, kinda there. <laughs> I wonder if I should have counterfeited the sack of loots instead last turn. I don't know how long I'm gonna have to carry through. Um. I guess what you are probably contemplating here is whether to top deck the landing parties. Maybe I should have counterfeited the sacks last turn. I don't even know how much money I'm going to produce. We'll we'll count it out at the end and figure out what I want to do. Um, like I think you still max out at something that's under a triple province, especially if you don't play a sack this turn. Well, maybe that's not true, because you could, you could counterfeit, you could counterfeit, I mean, you hit 16 this way, you could counterfeit a loot instead, that would be two extra coins, and you played sack of loot, which didn't actually gain you. Okay, I think if you don't play sack of loot, you can't triple. So, and you put a stables on top, which means, like, I think even if you do that, you have a really tough time getting through, or if you don't top deck, you have a really tough time getting through 11 cards. This is like Revenge of the Loots. I constantly lose games because, like, dumbest things happen with loot, and... This game, the dumbest thing happened with loot, but it happened in favor of me. <sighs> I think you definitely cannot triple. Um, okay, but you are going to single. Right, I think I should. I think I should be there. Um, 
I guess we can spell scroll a council room. Or we can spell scroll a storeroom later. Um, that'll be the that'll be the most productive thing to do. Uh, what do we discard? I guess sack. Um, so this is gonna spell scroll a storeroom. How much money is this? Just to make sure. Um, five. Five, six, shoot, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus six is fifteen, plus six, okay. Just have to make sure things. Before I before I don't get a tactician, but yeah, that that loot was just unbelievably amazing. Okay, what do we have here? We have Grotto Shepherd. That seems like a thing to be doing. Um, I guess our start's gonna be like Grotto, Grotto, avoid Grotto. I guess it could be like Grotto remake. I don't really want to do the remake because I want to hold the estates for the most part, and I don't think we're really gonna be wanting to Grotto those long term. Uh, Displace is probably gonna be the best terminal. Um, how to avoid grotto seems all right. I mean, the one thing that you could get kind of in trouble there is like, uh, what if they collide? So maybe you do like grotto shepherd anyways? I don't think so. I guess it could also be like grotto avoid bobble is a possibility with the idea that like, Potentially you otter the grotto and then like top deck a grotto with bobble. That's a, that seems reasonable-ish. Uh, I don't think you want to open artificer. That might be incorrect. Maybe you do like band of misfits. Start. Hmm. Like you can do Band of Misfits, Avoid Grotto, and then the Band of Misfits would what? If you collide them, it can play Shepherd, or it can play Remake, or whatever. Um. I was trying to like figure out like if you collide then what's the what's the deal? The other thing you could do is you could go like artificer bobble or artificer avoid bobble. Um I mean the band of misfits gives you the remake ability and like you're totally fine with having it otherwise, so I mean Think that's what we'll do. I'm just not sure this this should be avoid plus one of the twos, I'm just not sure which one. Uh, I'm gonna guess Grotto, but I'm not so sure. A double avoid, interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, that guarantees that you see the the band, right? And you can like, I don't know, do whatever with it, but um. Uh, 
Well, I'm just going to take out three estates. I don't want to remake them, so it's fine. Okay, so those are going to collide in there. Uh, what I'll do this turn is I will buy Artificer now. I'm not actually sure. Maybe we just buy Plain Shepherd. What happens next turn? Next turn... Next turn I shuffle. Yeah, okay, this, this, this is, this is making sense. This is making sense. So next turn I'm gonna shuffle with the band, and then grotto. Um, so this should be shepherd. Here, I think I'm just gonna play this as, well, I know I should play it as shepherd, right? Just get the, okay, we successfully did not draw the, uh, the shepherd. So this is going to be play shepherd, play band. Hmm. Maybe I need to like take a grotto here. I think I need to take a grotto here. I don't love eating the curse, but. Uh, it would have been really good to have shuffled. I didn't realize that that was not going to happen. Well, this is bad. <laughs> like, really bad. <laughs> uh, for a fourth set aside would have done a lot there. I didn't really think about that. A, a common, a common uh, issue, seemingly not thinking. Uh, but I guess we got away with it. Um, So yeah, here I guess I set aside four coppers, and then we can do remake that. And I think this probably wants to go to Artificer now. Um, we can gain more things if need be mid-turn. So I guess we're actually mostly even at this point. Uh, you have an extra band, but I have the Shepherd, and like you're going to be playing one of your bands as Shepherd every turn anyways. Uh, at least for the time being. Um, and I guess even one of them wants to be a grotto, although you probably artificer for the grotto. So, oh, whoa. whoa. I guess this would be Grotto. The expectation being that you can like, I don't know what. I mean, I think this needs to be Grotto. Like, how do you tur How does your turn work if you don't have the start of turn boost? Right. Well, I guess we'll find out. Probably with some avoids. Yeah. All right. Um. I guess the shepherd wants to happen first. Well, I could. Artificer, one, two, three. Yeah, it just seems a little far-fetched. Um, so Artificer is going to discard up to five things. It probably wants to discard the five coppers, I think, for an Artificer. I guess it could be for another band also. Um, with the idea that maybe I want to remake some stuff this turn. Uh, and band makes it so that I almost certainly see everything I need to see if like I have to end up having to play another shepherd. We can buy a state or something. Um, 
so yeah, I just I, I just want to um, get through a little bit more. Three, four. Uh, this has me hitting three, which could be a state. Um, I guess no, actually has me hitting four. Uh, it could be another shepherd actually, because like if I have more bands, I can. Uh, what can I do with them? That's not actually useful, is it? Is another shepherd more useful than? Well, another shepherd gets me more artificer play. Like I can artificer for artificer more easily, and like actually be able to do stuff with it. Okay, I'm I'm convinced. I you want to start seeing state lanes. That will be something I will need to be doing. I'm not like in love with my position, but I don't think it's the worst either, just because you have this kind of iffy turn. Uh, but it's only kind of iffy, like you will buy another estate here and that'll be okay. Right. I mean, my, my move is that like my draw power with Artificer is gonna is going to do something, but maybe it won't. <laughs> like my hope is to pick up another artificer in a state here, but like if the estates start to disappear on me, I don't know what I do. So maybe last turn the shepherd should have been an, or something should have been an artificer. I don't necessarily need all this draw. Right. Or or the draw kind of I don't I don't need this like quantity of quantity of stuff. Um oh, this could get bad. Um Well no, this is this is fine because we can like, you know, take our take our second artificer here. Like we, we we knew that this this kind of ickiness was coming up, um, right? And I can artificer like take an estate, shepherd this stuff out, shepherd this stuff out, grotto some stuff. Buy a state. Seems good. Although I guess this is going to be a kind of shaky turn if I can't find. <laughs> if I can't find a thing, because I like. I'm not over the shuffle, so. It's definitely kind of sketchy. Like all this stuff is going into here rather than being filtered out. It's actually a pretty substantial problem. So I don't know, like, if I can do something differently on that turn. Uh, maybe one of these should have been a merchant, like. I don't know. Shepherd letting me look at my discard. Hmm. Not sure. Anyways, at this point, I think I'm a clean turn behind. Uh, and it could get a lot worse, uh, depending. Um, or maybe still like half a turn behind from, from first player. I don't know exactly. You know, like I'm just like a turn slow on everything, and that's gonna 
certainly end up being a end up being a problem. Um, I could end up a lot more than turn slow right here, depending on how this uh, this grotto goes. Okay, we survived, much to my astonishment. Um, okay, so now I guess, I mean, I think I'm going to want to remake this turn or at least displace. Um, we can take an artificer here. Um, I will presumably draw enough. Um, we could also take a displace right now, um, although I think I'd like to throw in a remake first. Um, just as a, just as a guess. Uh, we can go like Artificer, that's an estate, right? So we can go like Use this, discard these two for Bobble. Um, that can trigger a shuffle. This this is actually going to be a good shuffle this time. I didn't get the I didn't get the uh, remake play in, but that's fine. Um, so I could take an estate here and then top deck like I don't know Shepherd Estate, just like really make sure we draw. Uh, the other thing I could do I don't know. This leaves me hitting seven or six if I go by if I go like by top deck top deck shepherd and not top deck estate we're not gonna screw this up again <laughs> um I'll be like one less artificer but I think that's okay. Hey, for now. I don't know what the bands are supposed to do if they're not going to be shepherds, though. Like, do I really need? I don't know. Well, one of them can still be a remake. I mean, that's something we did suffer this turn. Is, is we had to we had to keep using the bands as shepherds. It wasn't like the worst thing, it's just a thing. I assume if I pile Artificer this next turn, I lose the following one. Although we might want to check that out. Um, like you'd have four Artificers at the moment. Mm. I don't know. I mean, you could probably pile band, so I'd have to do a little bit more than that. Um, I don't actually know how much draw we're going to end up having. I guess it's part of it. I think he might have up to five artificers. Yeah, it doesn't look amazing. No province. Okay. 
so you have four artificers. That means you could theoretically pile Band of Misfits um, if I... Well, you could theoretically pile Band of Misfits no matter what, so I'd better take a point lead. Um, yikes. Uh, two, three, four, five. Like, that could be into Duchy. I think I want to wait on... I just have a bit of a... I have a bit of an issue here where, like... I'm going to have a lot of trouble drawing through this and playing a remake. Like... So probably I don't end up playing a remake is, is how this turns out. Um, yeah, like I can draw through, but then what? Um, certainly we can discard for a province. Uh, we could also do this like grottoing and then otter this. Um, which would get me to five. I don't really love not having the extra artificer, uh, but like, what do we do? Um, just go like top deck and coin by duchy. I mean, we're okay to take an artificer here, right? Like that's that's something that can go into the deck um, because right now I have the point lead, and so well, no, there's there's the uh, woodworkers, right? Well, maybe you still get there. I it seems like a lot of draw to get through everything, so. I think we'll just take an take an artificer and actually not top deck it. So it's it's possible that you win. Um, you you do have the gains in deck to win. Uh, I just think that it's requires so much more draw than you can actually produce. Like, extreme amounts more draw than you can actually produce. And then, and then I see that and I'm a whole lot less sure. <laughs> like, And if you end up being able to do it, you end up being able to do it, oh well. Like, I mean, I guess you don't have to play the Grotto, so that gives you a lot more money. Um, yeah. Hmm. I, money is not really the issue, though. It's still, I think, the draw to just get all the Artificers and then get three Band of Misfits. And be able to buy duchy, that might be a problem. Well, maybe I should have bought duchy. It would have been it would have been better defense. Clearly. Um Let's see. If this is an artificer gain, you're you're going for it. No, it's a province. All right, I'm. I am fairly. I am fairly okay with that then. 
You are, you are not going for the, you are not going for the win. I guess judge that the, judge that the draw was going to be too difficult. Um, I guess the problem I'm going to face is that probably you can still like triple province here and then triple province next turn. Uh, which would basically mean I have to take a bunch of duchies. The, 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 the green, the green parody is not seeming like it's going to work out for me here. I'm just saying. Um, particularly if you are able to get a third province. And like, you don't have to set aside for Grotto next turn, so clearly you can triple. Which means I'm just stuck taking how many duchies? Plausibly enough that I lose. Um, or maybe you can take two more provinces and then what do I do? That'd be a problem. I only have the four artificers. I mean, I have the one bobble play. Uh, though, like, clearly, if I'm playing an artificer this turn, it may as well have just been a duchy last turn. It gives me a bit more draw. It's one coin, but, you know. If you can take two provinces, what do I have? I have like six, six gains, which would be two provinces, four duchies, which would be a win. Can I take four provinces? Probably. I can probably take four provinces. So I think I'm actually in an okay spot, like, no matter what you do here, unless, like, you manage to produce... Well, I guess if you take two provinces and a duchy, although that might require not getting much of a grotto? No, that, that would be fine, because, like, you'd go province, duchy, by province, or province, province, by duchy. Um... No, I, I think, I, I don't think you can do, hmm. well, we'll see what happens. Um, right now, I think the only way to, like, prevent me from winning next turn is to take province, province, duchy. Uh, but that may not leave you with much the following turn, in which case I would take, like, a flyer that you dud. Um, which totally could, you know, not end up happening. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, um, but okay. I think I'm capable of taking four provinces. I think we'll see if that's a bunch of crap. Yes, uh, shortly. Um, let's see here. Well, I guess we want to play another shepherd. Gets me to the end here. Um, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, except this should be the grotto rather than the pasture. Um, okay, uh, if I just draw up here, how much do I have? I only need two more artificer plays. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I could discard the Artificer. I don't know if I need to get back around to it or not. 
or if I if I like automatically get back around to it or not. I'll find out. Which is this? Okay, well it worked out. All right. Um, I think I, I just like, I don't know, somehow randomly put you in a really tough greening spot the previous turn. I think you really should have gone for the win. I don't know if the draw was like at all there, but I still think it should have been gone for. Uh, this is a terrible 2-5. Um, obviously the 2 is going to be nothing. Um, I don't know what this 5 wants to be. Like, depending on what you open, I could do a Lost City, but, like, either Steward and Militia, I don't really want you seeing it turn three. Uh, and, like, the, the main draw is probably, like, Seer into this stuff. We also have Procession, which seems valuable. Um, this is gross. I do not like this 2-5 at all. Um, so, yeah, like, I could Lost City and have you play the Militia next turn, but you probably hit five with it. Uh, I can buy Den, that provides, like, some minor defense. Uh, I could pay, buy Seer. Uh, that might actually be the way to go, just to, like, try to get through stuff and, like, start drawing Steward, start drawing Militia, whatever. Uh, I could open Steward. I could open Militia. Um, I think we're going to go with the Seer option. And uh, hope for the best off of that. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I mean, I'm going to get Militia next turn. It's going to suck, but that's all right. Oh, I'm not getting Militia this turn. Okay, well, this could actually end up being really, really good. I uh, just need to keep seeing Seer, like, over and over again. Um, hmm. Well, this is a decision, isn't it? Uh, I could draw here with the assumption that I get Militia next turn. Uh, I would take, like, two coins and I'd buy a den, or two cards, rather, and then I'd buy a den. I mean, I have to I have to buy a den anyway, so I'm hitting two next turn. So let's do this, and buy a den. Okay. Uh, we could take another den right here. We would draw two cards again. I'll just keep buying dens. That seems so terrible, does it? Uh, here I can trash out estates. I don't know if that's actually a good thing to do or not. I assume it is. Do I want another den? Probably yes. Yeah, I mean, I want next turn to be functional. I'm a little bit uncertain about trashing the estates just because, like, it doesn't necessarily make my deck work that much better. Uh, but, mm, given that I'm, given that I'm seer, seer focused, um, two coins. Uh, I could try to make it, like, four dens. That doesn't sound so terrible. And, like, I still need to pick up, like, village and militia. Um, those will go down. I think I'm okay with those going down for the moment. Uh, but, like, not that thrilled long term. Um, this could be a trash. What would I buy? I don't know if, like, Lost City is actually that much better than Village. Like, I would go, like, Village. I probably do want a Gladiator at some point, maybe next turn. Yeah, buying Village over. Buying Village over Lost City. This is, this is this game. <laughs> uh... 
I'm gonna have to buy Gladiator next turn. Like I, I'm gonna have to be able to get the gold out payload out of out of fortune. I mean, I'm gonna need to be able to get the payload in general, but specifically out of fortune. Actually, undo that. It's dumb. We are we are drawing through. <laughs> This will be Gladiator for me this turn. Preferably like Trash Two Coppers by Gladiator. It's just gonna like go out and buy a province on me. That would suck. Genuinely. That would genuinely suck. Okay, no. Um, I wanted to Trash Two Coppers by Gladiator. Can I do that still? Yeah, I can do that still. Militia attack's not going to do anything. I mean, it's just going to be a bit of a pain because, like, well, no, it's not even that. Oh, I might get first option at fortune. Hmm. 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 Like, my assumption is one of these things is a den up here. Almost has to be, doesn't it? Because like that would be otherwise you would have played it. So that's steward, den, state, estate. Yeah. I guess you could have drawn your other one. Now oh, it's fifty fifty, isn't it? Two coins by fortune. Okay, well we saw the two dens. If I get militia here, I'm discarding Steward Gladiator. I just I, I need to I need to play the two dens badly. Almost no matter what happens. Maybe you proc your gladiator. Yeah. I'd really like to trash out some more copper. I don't think I can really afford to be working with procession. Um, this is playing for a worst case, which may not actually be the best idea, but it's also like what seer can draw if I have a full, if I have a full like go at things. Get two golds out of that. No, you don't get any golds out of that because it's, that's not how it works. Um, okay. Uh, big decision here whether to draw. What am I hitting right now? Hitting like six twelve. Oh, this has to draw. Okay. Um. All right. So this can be like seer village, seer procession. I think we definitely want to see her. Uh, procession would be trying to like hit the gladiator, maybe, or hit the steward. Um, I could also throw in another village. Um, like if I hit the steward, then I'd be procession and courier the next turn. Yeah, okay. If we have to procession the, um, what's it? The, uh, a seer, that would, that would be terrible. <laughs> I think things are okay right now, but that's, that's all I'll say for them is that they're okay. Like, I don't think I've completely lost yet. Um, there's definitely a possibility that that ends up happening, not in not terrible amount of time. Uh, but yeah. okay, I'm gonna get militia. That's gonna clear out these three, which is not. 
the most amazing outcome ever. Uh, just because I feel like I pretty desperately need to be able to um, play the dens to have my turns work. I'm under thinned right now. I need to trash at least two more coppers. Uh, kind of badly, even. I'm especially under trash for what my deck actually looks like. And I couldn't discard the village here for some reason. Oh, I want a procession of steward, and I might have to do that early. Oh. Um, hmm. Well... How much money am I producing on a full turn? A lot. Like 20? I kind of don't want to be buying a province this next turn. Which puts this up at actually like 14, 13 or 14. Right. That was like 20, yeah. Because cause my intent is to buy action cards. Um, like, absolutely. That's the intent. So, like, if I, if I can get this, that'd be okay. I don't, I guess you're also producing some somewhat large number. Uh,. It was this turn like 16, so it might actually completely kill your next turn to take that. Okay. Well, here's hoping I draw. Well, that's a step in the right direction. Um, the intent is to procession the steward. Well, I may have to do it for draw twice. So maybe I'm processioning village instead. Yeah. It's for uh militia. Yeah. I didn't get to thin like I wanted, but we are getting the we are getting the full turn in. Um I don't know. I feel like I just need to put the village back in, like, go village, village steward or something like that. That's just a little bit conservative. Or seer village. Okay, well, I'm, I'm happy with how the bid stuff turned out. I'm just not that happy with my deck still because it has too much copper in it. Two provinces could be. Yeah, that too much copper. Um, hmm. Well, there's a procession in there someplace. Um, so probably I want to see like one of these and then play the seer again. Okay. Uh, I can't be taking double province here. It's plausible that I can procession the gladiator or I can procession militia. Uh, or a procession steward, draw two, trash two. Um, probably courier. This is ten, which is under what I want, but, um, I like need. 
steward. We can alliance later if we need to really make up points and fairgrounds is also a possibility. So this is like steward, um, possibly another seer, although that's not doing me a whole lot. Uh, possibly like just steward village is okay. Not sure what the procession is working on this next turn, but I mean, my my hope right now is that you you somehow dud. Okay, that is a somehow dud. Um, so militia goes into the discard because Seer draws it. Um, I'm gonna clear out these last two coppers. I wonder if I should put like Steward in there for the uh, courier to hit. I'd like to proc the courier most of all. I don't know how that's gonna work here. Okay. Um, so what we can do is we can proc courier. I guess we could also proc village first and like get another procession. I don't think so. And proc courier. Uh, sure, play militia. Play gold. If I can top deck a seer, that would be amazing. Um, gain seer. Well, if I can top deck a seer, that would be amazing. Okay, I have, I have failed to do so. Um, you're unlikely to hold a fortune in hand. In fact, I know you don't have one in hand. Um, trash to buy two provinces. That seems okay. Because, like, if you take two provinces, I can take. Ah, oh, shoot. Alright. If you take two provinces, somehow, um,. Then what happens? I might need to alliance. If you take two provinces, then I can still alliance twice, maybe, or alliance once. If you take two provinces, you'd be up. How many points? Go like Alliance Fairgrounds or something like that. Okay, I think I think this checks out. Be like 10, 14 points. Be enough to not quite tie. Shoot. Awkward. Oh well, you've just top deck three provinces, so that seems like your turn's going poorly. Yeah. Um I don't know what happened. Anyways, I won, so that's a good thing. But my fourth win? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think that was my fourth win. That's good. Because I like won the start, and then I think I've won three straight. Yeah. Well, it's three or four. I'll, I'll check after this. It doesn't really matter. We still need to win this, or do our, do our best to win this game. <laughs> right. I mean, I think, I think, like, your deck just wasn't maybe as well constructed. Um, I had more dens. I wasn't happy with the 5 2, but I was first player, so it might not have mattered that much. Um, what are we doing here? Uh, I think Apothecary looks like a pretty firm source of draw. Uh, I don't think you're trashing out your coppers that quickly, and like you can do like Throne Squire, Faithful Hound is draw, but like, eh. So I think we're gonna go probably Rope, and then maybe Messenger Potion. Uh, I think we want to stick the Messenger in. Maybe a little bit random stuff, but yeah. Can also just borrow for another row. That doesn't sound like the worst thing ever either. You know, just just make sure you get your ropes. Unless we could also messenger another rope. 
I'm pretty obsessed with the messenger just because I feel like there's a lot of scenarios where like doing rapid cycling is really helpful here. Like here, for example, where I'm going to be able to get a potion in really quickly. Trickster? No, it's, it's potion. Definitely potion. Tent, huh? Well, I guess we might be seeing might be seeing Garrison come out. Um, I want one of these two things. I'm just not really sure which one. Uh, I guess next turn is. I guess it should be Faithful Hound because like I'm plausibly getting Cartographer even next turn. The Throne Room. Or like any of the above. And toss in throne room. Um, I think that's reasonable. I have a lot of actions. We might draw it without, but we also might not. Uh, how much do I feel like garrison is really something that I need? It's about to make a decision time. Like I can borrow for apothecary garrison here. If I want. I kind of want don't want them to be like, I don't know, totally available. I guess you can go like Garrison Raid. Is that a deck? That might be a deck. You don't have any silvers yet, so I don't know that I'm the most concerned, but yeah. Hill Fort also seems really nice, but again, I'll let you do the work. I don't think that there's that much like first mover or whatever on these things. Advantage, if you want to call it that. Two garrisons, okay. Well, hill fort plus nothing. I think plus nothing is, is the way to go. I don't know if garrison throne room works. I don't really need it, I guess. Um, we can just get another hill fort and be pretty happy with things. Is what I'm gonna say. Those garrisons might work. Like you get hill fort throne room. I mean they'll they'll draw. I I mean I'm I'm mostly drawing in other ways, so it's not like it's earth shattering. Um, this will keep. Uh, I have like thrown something on top. Uh, I could take a stronghold here. I really don't need to. That'll be like next turn's job. Um, this can just be thrown apothecary. Mm, you got two, you got three garrisons. It, I mean, there'll, there'll be like unevenness on the draw, but I think I should be drawing okay even without. Like, I got two hill forts. The main thing that's going to be a concern is just like piles, piles, piles. Um, just like forever it's going to be a problem. Maybe I should have messengered the potion instead. Mm -hmm. It's a thought. It's a thought. So this turn I'm taking... this turn I'm taking Stronghold. Um, it's Rope. God. I don't know, is Trash and Copper good? Maybe, probably. I'm gonna do it for now. Um, see if I can't find a throne room. 
That is not a throne room. In fact, none of those are throne room. Uh huh. Well, I could hill fort for a throne room. I'd kind of like to draw the garrison first before I start doing hill fort stuff. Just to get a little bit of extra oomph on my next turn. Um, yeah, we can do like this. Uh, I guess we can hill fort. That doesn't do me any good. I don't know if we keep the... I mean, there's a throne room in there, so like, if I go garrison, hill fort, throne room, card action, play messenger, keep, of course. Maybe not of course, but like then, stronghold, plus, I don't know, squire. I don't feel like another apothecary is really needed. Maybe it's fine. Um, like a squire more productive at this point, maybe. I'm going to take another apothecary anyways. Uh, like, apothecaries cannot be hill forted for. If a squire will somehow do me some amount of good, it can be. Weird up gets to start working. That sucks. <laughs> I was really liking this better when your deck wasn't working, but now it is, and I think that this is going to end up being. We're going to end up seeing the raid, raid garrison. Longer term, which maybe I want to participate in, but I'm also not sure that I have quite have the draw for it. Like, you're just going to be able to use so much coin. I mean, the un I think the unexpected thing that happened was you were able to get two garrisons, which, I mean, it's not going to do anything about. I'd kind of committed at that point. Um, plausibly, what I should have done is I should have messengered potion instead of rope on the whichever turn, but I'm not sure that I have that many regrets about it. Um... Garrison, rope. I think we're going to stop trashing copper. Um, like throne hound. Throne hill fort. Uh, this can go to hand. And this can go to hand. Okay, and then we can throw in Hill Fort again. Is there a win here? Like if I take Throne Messenger. I think we'll do states next turn. Let's go throne. I think we'll go messenger. Throne, messenger, messenger. Stronghold. Next card, three turns. The cards. Next, something, something, something. And just go like throne room, province, hound. And I really hope I draw next turn. Okay, this looks promising. I guess there's like some possibility that you're able to pile estates plus, but I mean, you do have what two hill forts. You don't have a lot of throne. I don't know how much throne I ended up with. Maybe thrones last turn. Shuffle. Maybe not. No, you have two throne rooms. See, like, you have four gains out of those. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. 
In the spec, we're going to try to do the, the raid stuff, but my, my intent is just let's pile estates next turn. Like, I don't, I don't think that... I mean, the thing is, is like if you raid, you potentially lose because you don't get enough points to prevent the, the state pile out. Um, I don't know how well I'm actually drawing, but like so far this turn looks okay enough. We could gain, you know, three ropes, one rope, whatever ropes. Do estates. We have a lot of money. I mean, I almost think you have to commit to the raid at this point, and then I don't know what. There's going to be no scoring, there's going to be a lot happening next turn, so uh, let's figure out how to win this turn. Ideally. Okay, that was interesting. Okay. Uh, so, I'm going to have to take one hound, at least, here. I still think it puts me in decent position. Oh, actually, I'll just I'm just gonna play Garrison first in case like somehow there's a turn that can happen after this. Uh, I don't think it's gonna matter, but. Okay. Um. Okay, there's the hounds. So at this point, if I, how much buy do I have? This is like one one fewer things than I actually want. Um, we can throw in hill for it and take two ropes. I don't know if the money's there. Uh, would it be there? That's like two ropes is gets me to nine. I have borrow. Yeah, it's it's there. Okay. We have eight buys, and we will buy out the estates. Take that, three garrisons. All right, that was a that felt like a good set of games. I think I won five, uh, which is surprising. I don't know. Um. And, well, it's, it's better than the record has been lately, especially in League in general. Uh, I don't know, I think there were some good things um, that happened to me. I don't know how many, like, possibly a couple of bad things happened to you. I mean, that's, that's almost certain over the course of a match that goes that way. So, uh, that's how, that's how it was. And, uh, yeah, this, this last one thrown in was apparently a better card than Garrison, which is, Maybe not that much of a surprise, so I'll uh, see you all.